I'm telling you, we got some plant whispers in the building. Oh my goodness. I, I wish, maybe I'll, I'll post this on the Morning Show Facebook page. What Lily, we, we're calling the yes. plant that I was given, which I have not taken care of very well, which is really sad. I feel like Lily sees me coming around the corner and is like, oh, oh Lord, please no. Like send someone else. Yeah, That's I what mean, I some think. Some people are more of a natural green thumb. I'll give you some, but you've been busy too. Yeah, I just have not taken care of Lily at all. She has literally, I, she looked dead. Everything on her, like all her leaves were Yeah, done. I saw her. I just figured she was dead. I mean, yeah. I just was like, oh, the plant died. Yeah, me too. I, I was like, it's over. It never had a chance. As soon as they put it on my desk, I was like, you're dead. Like, you don't have a chance. <laughs> and and I'm sorry. I'm telling you in advance, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, At least you were honest. Yeah, I know. Um, but Andrea tried yeah. to revive him. She did some kind of like saran wrap poking holes, trying to make a greenhouse effect thing. I don't know how much that really worked, but we came in today or no, it was yesterday came in and Kelly and Sherry yeah. apparently had a little weekend thing with Lily taking her back to the back. They watered her really well. Basically our office soil staff was like a medical rescue team this week. Oh, hundred percent. They brought soil. They, yeah. She's in the sunlight a little bit. And I could not get over her. She looked like a completely different plant yesterday. I think they did Blew the whole mind. words of affirmation thing, too. Yeah, they, they were talking to sweet to her. her yeah. A little bit. Yeah. And I could not believe I was like, that has to be a different plant. I know. That cannot be Lily. It was that is amazing. Now Lazarus. She has Lily. <laughs> Just turned into Lazarus. You're right. And and what's crazy is, and last night I was watering my plants at my house. And I was sitting there trying to process why I had let Lily die. Like, <laughs> you know, she's back alive now. But I, because my own plants in, in front of my house, I've been watering them very religiously. Yeah. Like every other night, taking care of them. It's a hot day and they're looking amazing. Okay. And so I'm like, what is it? What is it about? Why was Lily not? Yeah. Lily being at my desk in front of my face, really every day. We might have to ask Chaplain Justin. I don't know what that is. The psychological aspect of that. I don't know. Puzzling to me. But I know this. Lily was once lost and hopeless. <laughs> now she's found. She's found. <laughs> the KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. So, Mark, imagine that you're staying at the Olympic Village. Okay. okay. So I'm in Paris. Mm-hmm. Participating in. One of the most exciting events in history. Am I a chiseled, world-class athlete? Yes, that's okay. that's All what right. you are. Thank you. Uh, you've just woken up and are about to start your stretches. Okay. To prepare for your event. Well, yeah, I don't want to hurt something. Yeah. <laughs> no. And in our age, you're going to need to stretch a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe three exactly. hours of stretching. Okay. When all of a sudden... You hear this beautiful collection of voices singing in harmony just around the corner. Okay. In Olympic Village. Okay. Well, this was the setting for Matilda. She's an Australian water polo player competing in the Olympics. She heard the echoing voices of athletes, coaches, and staff participating in a worship service. Oh, that's cool. On a Sunday afternoon, and she could not believe her ears. She quickly grabbed her phone to record the moment that was happening. This is the Olympic Village, and this is what she heard. Oh, that's cool. They sound amazing. Yeah, they. And and here's what's so cool. So. That's awesome. So it sounds beautiful, right? And she thought it, it was amazing. Obviously, we don't know what they're saying, right? Well, this is the team from Fiji. Okay. So they came together to sing this song. It's called like Ma Ravi Ve Hisu or something. Okay. That's Fijian. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yes. even know. Um, but what that translates to, I do know. It says, the title of that is Put Your Trust Into the Lord and He Will Guide Your Way. Mm. Okay, so these folks, they're not trained, by the way. They're not like this trained choir. These are athletes, coaches, and staff just coming together in worship. And they're harmonizing. They totally are. Um, So the Olympic Village, 
you know, that may be the last place you'd expect to hear such powerful music making, but hey, here we are. Live I demonstration right there. And the athlete that recorded this, she put it on social media. It went viral. And someone wrote on the post, like, just so many different unique, harmonious yeah. sounds. It's like a little taste of heaven. Yeah, that's what she was saying. And she said there's just this wholesome sweetness. It's a human connection. And there's this appreciation and a belonging about it. Mm. Because, and honestly, that's what it is. It's the spirit of the Lord. That's cool. And when you hear that going on. Yeah. It It draws you in. Yeah, exactly. That is our positive difference story of the day. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. So I had this interesting conversation with Mac um, on Sunday. We were talking about sin. Okay. And it started out talking about celebrities and, and sin, and then we started talking about our own sin. Believe it or not, we're just having conversations. and Okay. And I just was super real. I was like, but we're always going to struggle with sin. Yeah. Like you're going to sin in the future. We've all sinned in the past and we're going to keep sinning. And so that's where God's grace comes in and praise God for that. Right. You know, and, um, you know, Paul says, uh, do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. So we're free to sin. Yeah. We're still loved. We get to make choices. Right. Um, but we don't want to take advantage of that either Mm -hmm. but then also why is sin a bad thing so we're talking about that and basically um it entraps you and enslaves you and oftentimes sin looks shiny it looks pretty it it shows up in like an angel of light right Mm -hmm. um and it looks really good and and it feels good at first yeah it's like a hint of truth but it's twisted there's always a hint of truth in sin for real and and then it is it's twisted up and the next thing you know you're you're enslaved and you're trapped and you can't get out and you're struggling and so um, I said but the cool thing is God gives us His guidelines in His book and and the world's going to tell you that's a book of rules we should be able to do whatever we want to do yeah it's antiquated like, yeah yeah and and I said but actually it's it's a book of truth and it's a guide to protect you which actually puts barriers in place and believe it or not with barriers you get freedom Mm -hmm. and he's kind of looking at me kind of confused i said example scooby Hmm. which is our dog yes you know and he's like scooby it's like yeah we have our big backyard and we have a barrier around the backyard the fence and so that fence protects scooby from the coyotes that we can hear at night the Mm -hmm. very back It protects him from getting out and chasing a cat across the road and getting hit by a car um, because he wants to indulge in the dog of Scooby that's running cray cray chasing an animal. Right. I said, or Scooby can be in the backyard, totally protected, but Mm. free to go wherever he wants. Super happy. He doesn't have to worry about anything. He's he's just protected. He gets to run and, and be goofy Scooby. We can play fetch. And he's protected and he's free and he's loving his life. I love that picture. Yeah. And I felt like in that moment it clicked with him. Uh huh. You know, and um I love that. And and we reiterated too, like we wouldn't even know sin if it wasn't for the word. And Paul even says that. He goes, We wouldn't know sin if it wasn't for the law. Right. And the law is not a bad thing. Um, it's it's a good thing. It teaches us fence. that God knows. It's the fence. It teaches that God knows what's best for us. And and so then it led in this conversation. I said, do you think I have more experience in life than you do, Mac? And he's like, yes. And I was like, yeah. I said, who do you think loves you more than anyone else on this planet? He's like, you and daddy. Mm-hmm. I was like, yes. And so, and I knew you before you were born. Mm-hmm. When you were in my belly, I so knew you and good. I was praying over you and I was so excited for you. And then I said, you show up and I still see things way ahead. If you're, when you were a toddler, I see things that you're about to run into. So I'm going before you. I said, all of those things, that's exactly what God does for us. That's amazing. Yeah. It was just one of the sweetest conversations. And I love it when the light bulbs start going off, right? Cause it, yeah. it can happen at any moment in yeah. our lives. If, by the way, if you're listening this morning, you're like, man, that light bulb's going off for me too. Like I've been running outside of the fence mm-hmm. and it's not been working out so well. And you, and you want that kind of freedom in a relationship with Jesus who's loved you before you even took your first breath. 
there's a place on our website where you can actually jump in and, and learn a little bit more about that. All you have to do is text the word HOPE to us here at 800 800- 909-KLRC. That's text HOPE to 800-909-5572. I love that picture that we can run free. Mm-hmm. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Uh, so my wife and I have been, we've been pretty addicted, I think, to the Olympics thing. I think the hot temperatures, not being able to be outside in the evening. Mm-hmm. We're just like, all right, let's stay yeah. inside. That makes the sense. Gymnastics. She sure. loves the gymnastics thing. And we're watching just the other night. And she's like, hey, if you could compete and actually like had the ability to compete. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that she should really. I love the transparency and honesty <laughs> in your marriage. I think that's so important. <laughs> if you had. <laughs> if you had the ability. The actual talent. Yeah. And physical ability mm-hmm. to compete at the Olympic level, at the Olympics. In any one of these events, what would you what would you want to do? So let's you could just pick. I was like, oh, that's kind of a fun thought. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I think about it a little bit. I was like, well, what about you? First of all, like, and this, she was like, well, and she ran in college. She ran track and cross country. She's like, you know, I mean, I love track and cross country. So that'd be fun. But she was like, I think I'd want to do rugby. Really, women's Tiff? rugby and. You for know, a mom, I was like, she's pretty tough cooking. I was though. like, she could do it. Yeah. I think she could absolutely pull it off. Wow. She's got that fire in her. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. She said, I watched a little bit of it. I was like, oh, that looks awesome. I was like, cool. Okay. Um, I, I was like, I had to think about it. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, what would you do? See, my first thought was the decathlon. You know where they have to do all 10? 10. 10 Really? Here's the reason that why. Sounds I'm like, like a nightmare. Because they keep saying, like, that's the greatest athlete on earth. And I was like, okay. Oh, that's why you'd want to do it. Uh, I was okay. like, that's never going to happen. You. That's never going to happen. I think more realistically would be probably USA basketball. Okay. <laughs> okay I mean, maybe not. You and LeBron, y'all could go head to head. Right? Uh, I mean, if I, if I actually could have the ability to be one of the best ballers in the world yeah you would choose basketball that would be to be able to play with those guys huh. that would be pretty amazing okay i'd be all in on that okay what about you um you know i have a little secret desire to um do fencing fencing yeah is that that's the when they're like they're in that full beekeeper's outfit and they've got the, the mm-hmm. swords yeah okay and, and you know what just like Pro wrestlers have, uh, you know, their their big names, you know, like the Undertaker, yeah, or you know, Macho Man Randy Savage, or all that. These these are old school. Would you have a name? Ones, yeah, mine would just be the Beekeeper, the beekeeper. because I look like a beekeeper, and, they totally, and we all do. They so totally let's just look like they're a call it like beekeeper. it is. Okay, but really, the the real reason I would want to do fencing is because at the very end, you know, you ever watch the movie Z- Zorro or uh-huh. ever, you know, where he like. After he defeats his opponents, he'll put the like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, the little Z, at and the he'll end. do the Z. Yeah, I just want to do that, but I would do a, the letter C. <laughs> You'd carve out a little C at the end. Yeah. Okay, for Christy. No. No. Chorizo. For chorizo. <laughs> that would be your fencing that, that name. That cheese. <laughs> incredible cheese type sauce from Mexico. That, that would be your. That fencing changed my life years ago. Signature. It would be. I would be the the chorizo beekeeper. That's okay. what I would be. That's amazing. Chorizo. Chorizo. I just okay. Carve it a big seat. If you want to join the conversation this morning, just we'd saying. love to know if you could do any event in the Olympics. So you had the ability to. What would yours be? Call us or text eight hundred nine zero nine KLRC. <laughs> The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Christy wants to become the beekeeper, that's which is my, the that's greatest my name, name. My fencing ever. name. We were talking about my wife while we were watching the Olympics the other day. It was like, hey, if you actually had the athletic ability, like the talent, all that, <laughs> which is if you actually fair, had that. Totally fair disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> to, and you could compete. In any, we were, we were watching the Olympics. It could compete in any one of these sports, mm-hmm. these competitions. 
what would you do? Yeah. Because she, and she felt so, kind of surprised when she was like, that women's rugby, I'd be all in on that. Yeah. I was like, okay, note to self. <laughs> don't mess Maybe with Maybe she's the trying wife. to get out some aggression that she has towards you, Mark. <laughs> Maybe that's so. <laughs> it's like, hey, you have given me all the motivation in the yeah. world to be an elite mm-hmm. athlete. I was like, that's a great question. And you said fencing. Yeah. And I would be called the beekeeper because those fencing suits look like beekeepers. <laughs> totally. looks like giant beekeepers. Yeah. I could wear the fencing swords. suit. And then at the very end, I, I really just want to be the beekeeper because the very end, I do like Zorro, you know, whoo, 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 but instead of putting the, the Z uh-huh. in someone's clothes, like ripping the Z, right. it would be a, a giant C. Not for Christy. No, for chorizo. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> That's so amazing. Isn't that awesome? That classic you. I mean, I I would do everything I could to win just so I could put that Just seat. so you could leave that yeah. special mark. Mm-hmm. But you want to be a, a basketball player? The first player? thing I thought when she asked me, I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, to be able to play with Team USA. I yeah. mean, that would be I mean, like Steph and LeBron. And mm-hmm. t- to that would be incredible. I was like, I don't know. There's so many other things. Like, if it weren't for the Speedo, diving, I'd be all in on. But I can't do it. <laughs> well, you could, be, you could be the cap catcher guy, at least. <laughs> Bob. Bob the cap no, no, no. catcher. I, Isn't I, that who he is? Yeah, he, same same issue there with Bob, only not the chiseled <laughs> I feel like today, body. in this very moment, you've got the skills to be the cap catcher, which is the guy who dives in and gets the swimmer's caps. Yeah, when the, the cap falls off in the swimmer. You, really. you could do that today, no. Mark. No. <laughs> yeah, I thank you. No, not a chance in the world. But the right. other one, mm-hmm. have you watched the kayaking? Mm. That, I was like, that would be a blast. Yeah, that would be a blast. I am sure it's way harder and probably way scarier than I'm even giving it credit for. But now they like drop, as kind of like the water slide thing that you guys uh-huh. went to. They like drop them to start off. I was like, this is like a roller coaster ride Yeah, thing. no, that's amazing. You should totally do it. Mm-hmm. You know, they've got a kayak park here in Asylum Springs. You right? can start training I could get tomorrow. Started, right? In Just about saying. 600 years, I'd be ready for the Olympics. Yeah, I don't think it would take you that long. <laughs> Probably like 200. And then I can watch but, you the beekeeper. Yeah. Do your thing. I absolutely <laughs> would love to be a, the fencing beekeeper. Yes. If you want to chime in on the conversation this morning, we're curious. If you had the talent and you could do any one of these Olympic sports... What's what would be the one you would want to do? On the back, it would just have a giant beehive <laughs> on my suit. Just carried it on the back. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Call or text one eight hundred nine zero nine KLRC. That's eight hundred nine zero nine fifty five seventy two. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy ninety point nine KLRC. So we were talking if you could miraculously have all the talent and skill in the world to be an Olympic athlete and could compete in any one of the events, what would it be? And Christy wants to do fencing yeah. and be called the beekeeper. Yes. They do look because like giant you beekeepers. kind of look like a beekeeper, but make it kind of like a WWF entrance. <laughs> okay. So forget all the digni- dignity of the Olympic Games. Yeah. Now uh, you want a <laughs> world wrestling entrance. Okay. Yes, I mean, how, and I'll just give out honey or something. I don't okay. know. And you're going to carve a little C in their chest when they're done? Yes, which has nothing to do with honey, but it would stand for chorizo. Like Zorro <laughs> does the Z, like, yeah. I would do a huge C. In honor of the cheese. Yeah. Okay. Chorizo. Something like that. Um, all right, now what about you? Uh, gymnastics. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Would you be Simone Biles' teammate? Would that be like your ideal? Oh, that would be the dream, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you have an event that would be your specialty? Um, probably the uneven parallel bars. Oh, Ooh, girl, she's not messing around. That's challenging. I like it. Yeah, if they just had like a gymnastics where you could just roll, <laughs> it, it would only be rolling. <laughs> Christy's floor routine would just be a, a rolling <laughs> just all, roll over the, to, all over the floor. To 80s music. 
<laughs> the KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. All right, it's time to celebrate some birthdays. It's the Marketplace Grill Birthday Bash, Tuesday, August 6th. And celebrating today, Arlie Reese turning the big six in Jay, Oklahoma. And Logan Avery Whaley, 22, in Rogers. Also, happy birthday today to Bennett McLean turning 12 in Rogers. And Eddie Elkins in Rogers celebrating a birthday today, too. All right, happy birthday, everybody. So the randomizers got all your names. Going to mix things up here. One of you gets a gift certificate to celebrate with our friends at the Marketplace Grill and Logan Avery Whaley and Rogers. Hey, happy birthday, Logan. 